So what we're going to take a look at now is how to open up a brand new sheet metal file and talk about the difference of starting this compared to starting a new part. So I'm going to begin by doing a new command. And here from my template list, you can see I can choose from a standard IPT, which is normally what we're accustomed to, or maybe some other start part. But I also have an option here to start sheet metal. Now the difference between these two, when I start sheet metal, it starts me with the existing tool set for sheet metal tools that I want, such as creating faces and hems and flanges, creating punches, things like that. If I were to start a standard part, it would operate more normal to what we're accustomed to. So with sheet metal, I'm already starting into the purpose-driven environment. It just gets me there a little bit faster. Now, if I modeled something in the standard environment by mistake or started a new template there by mistake, I can still convert back over to sheet metal. So let's take a look at doing the sheet metal here first. Now that I'm in the sheet metal template, you can see I have commands such as face and contour flange, lofted flange, my sheet metal type tools we're going to talk about in this course. I'm already inside of this new environment ready to go. Now if I start a new part and I pick standard instead and say create, here I have my normal set of tools. Now I do have the option up here in the upper far right to say convert to sheet metal. Now if for some reason you don't see that, it might be a hidden panel. So you would just have to right click, go to show panels and make sure that convert is turned on. So as long as that's showing up, you'll be able to convert this to sheet metal. It tells you that for proper unfolding, the model should have uniform thickness equal to the parameter called thickness. I'm going to say OK to this message. And now you can see I'm in a sheet metal type file now. So some of the more specific items about this for specifying a thickness value for proper unfolding involves having these sheet metal defaults up here, which we're going to talk about in the next video.